Hello viewers, and welcome back once again to our lovely Let's Play of Cities Skylines once again. Today we're back with episode 4 inside sunny Lakedale over here. So, uh, in the meantime, as you can probably tell, I've, done, uh, I've, been, I've been doing some traffic improvements on our lovely city. And what I've decided to do is that I've decided to make a few of these nice uh, dual lane or, you know, four, -way, four, four lane roads right over here to speed up traffic. Um, so what, what, what caused this? Well, I wanted to fix up the traffic by a little bit. I wanted to make sure that we had some uh, more, say, wider avenues right here. And that's exactly what I did uh, over here. So um, this fix, this yeah, this fixes a few problems, but incidentally, it kind of caused this uh, this massive pileup of garbage. So I figured we'd uh, we'd solve the road congestion, do the fun stuff right here. Um, so in the previous uh, episode, we unlocked the incineration plant. This is something that will get rid of an absolute ton of garbage. It'll also output some power as well, for the penalty of of course um, causing quite a bit of pollution. Uh, incidentally, I'm gonna put one right inside the middle of our city, seeing as our two landfills are filled. This thing can hold or you know launch up to 27 of these garbage trucks. So we'll we'll put one inside the middle of the city and we'll put one outside the city shortly. And with that said, I think it will be time to expand once more. So uh, I figured we'd push either one one way or another, but uh, you know what? Actually, I think we'll leave that for now and we'll just focus on this area. Uh, uh, right over here yeah, for the meantime. So, um, taking a look at Lakedale so far, from the looks of it, the average zone building has two levels right here. Um, our commercial zones are also starting to tech up. We have right around 500 extra jobs available, not enough housing. And from the looks of it, the population wants a little bit of, uh, of, of residential and a little bit of um, industry and or offices right uh, right about now. So, this is very good, uh, apart from the trash pile up, but we'll get to that shortly. Um, in the meantime, oh, and that's right, I put a another um, another garbage landfill right over here by the mills just simply because we need to handle that uh, but in the meantime we can grow the city uh, even further so with that said let's get on to some of the funner activities inside city skylands and let's really push and see what we can do inside our city right here so uh, we already have this sub neighborhood kind of developed and all so I figured we'd paint that first and foremost uh, never mind that's already painted so we'll just have to wait until that grows um, in the meantime what what I figured we'd do in that case is check up on some of our other lines and let's see how well we're doing. Oh, and that's right, I built a pedestrian bridge right over here so people, if they would like to perhaps get some scenery or jump off, um, they can have a wonderful day on this uh, ped bridge over here. And as you can see, some people are actually using it. Hmm. So this is kind of neat. It's just uh, one thing that links up the two residential zones. Perhaps later on, once we have, uh, say, bus services or something over there, um, perhaps it will be uh, a tiny bit more useful. But for now, it's more or less a decorative type of thing. So let's see, we'll probably need another water pump. And you know what? We have a lot of cash. We might as well go for two. We'll link these up to the, to the water system just like that. And we'll go for a third sewage uh, pump shortly. Um, so we'll do something like that, link it to, and that should finish, uh, how is this not powered? Yeah, it's right inside the powered region over here. Hmm, there we go. So, uh, that should handle most of our basic services right now. And taking a look at everything else, it looks like healthcare coverage is pretty good. Uh, cemetery coverage is pretty good. Fire safety is still a bit of a priority. And over here, it looks like we need some more coverage near the landfill and industrial areas. We have one more down right here. I have a smiles-based policy area, evidently, uh, inside this area, so that'll be good. Um, yay, more happy faces. So that should solve uh, most of the fire hazard issues over here. And likewise over here, I think we'll put one near the lumber mill, seeing as how that's really what is keeping our industry alive. And I think we'll just speed forward like that. Right, so now the garbage thing will be gradually handled. Our people over here in the... Oh, some more buildings are up being upgraded, so this is very, very good. Um, as I was saying, the people... Oh, this is one real big factory. 
Anyhow, uh, the people over here inside the incineration plant, it's pretty much just going to work day by day. As you can see, garbage is going in, it's being drained out at that processing rate, and it's generating us 12 megawatts of power. So it's, uh, it's not necessarily all that much, but at the same time, it's not exactly a small, uh, well, thing either that's actually worth i think up to two of our uh, of our solar power places and would you look at that that is just a stream of uh, garbage being processed there so this is very good um going one more uh, step further i figured we could maybe we could maybe have another processing area right over here taking uh, a care of some of that for us so with that said here's what i figured we do We'd get the regular road. We'd extend it from, say, the entrance right over here. Or never mind, never mind. There is actually something blocking that area, so I guess we'll have to go through here. And I mean, either way, both of the locations will work exactly the same. One's an in gate, one's a uh, out. So both of these should be actually pretty good for the most part. And I plan on, you know, I don't plan on expanding the map down over here by any more than uh, than I need to. So with that, hopefully said and set um i figured we'd make this place into a bit of a bit of a a, a landfill site if you will and with that said here's what we're going to do so as we've already seen i mean a lot of the as we've already seen these incinerators burn up garbage by uh, by sending out these little you know garbage collection trucks at a very startling rate um these things go around they take garbage and they bring it back over here to process so i figured we'd leave it as such and now in the meantime we're going to need slightly more cash we're actually there we go um in the meantime it looks like we're currently making up to right around that sewage right around 40 or 150 ish thousand units of garbage each week and we're able to incinerate most of that now that we have two more incinerators going right look at look at that look at the fleet of garbage trucks streaming into the city Ooh, it's, a, it's a wave of them but anyhow, this will <laughs> this will probably cause some congestion along the way, but this will do the uh, the communities over here a great service. They'll clean things out. This is a new bridge that I built, a dual lane one, so that we can have a lot of throughput going into uh, what I hope to be the, the new expansion to the city, of course. Um, but the one thing that you notice here is that despite the city being extremely busy, and uh, I, I think I should really stress this point, our, our city has a lot of traffic, right? But none of it is congested which is the which is the nice thing i mean these parts are just you know the high red color but they're never congested which is nice and over here same thing there there's a minor backlog i mean coming from the lights and all but overall things are flowing nice and smoothly over here so this is wonderful this is pretty good so um, going forwards from here, I mean, of course, there are a couple of ways that we can expand and a couple of ways that we can do a little bit better. But for now, I think we'll just have to be content with the fact that our city is nice, incineration is good, um, healthcare from the looks of it is pretty good in areas that it needs to be. Fire safety is good, crime rates are low, uh, and taking a little bit about education, uh, let's see... Hmm, we could use a few more elementaries inside this new neighborhood. Perhaps that's the new thing that we'll handle. And we'll also need a university somewhere in just a bit. So, let's see. What should we do? And seeing as how we have some of these new uh, zones, we should probably make a few offices as a, uh, as a section of work as well. And you know what? I think I might expand to this blob right over here for our next uh, plot of land we can take. Now, let's see, let's see, hmm, there's a high demand for office space as well, we can probably work that in here. And now, this area already has a ton of jobs, so I don't think we will. Inside the new neighborhood though, right along this road I think would be a perfect location for some new offices, so let's see what we can do about uh, perhaps working some of those in. Um, so what I've been putting down is these lovely uh, little avenues with trees in the middle. So these uh, these decorations, instantly they uh, they increase the land value by a bit by lowering the pollution, the noise pollution over here. So this is very very good. And I figured, seeing as how a lot of our uh, or I plan on expanding this way over here, I guess a main road going over here can't hurt. And now along this main road, I figured what we do is that uh, right over here, I plan on having some housing. So uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to make a 
one-way road. And around that one-way road, we're going to wrap these, these, uh, well, these entrances and exits onto here. So what this will hopefully do is that it'll make it rather efficient for getting people um, in and out of these areas is what I had hoped it would. But you know what? Actually, each and every single one of these crossroads are going to cause a uh, where they're going to create their own junction. So you know what? Hmm. What should we do back here? We want to build some industrial, we're not industrial zones, but we want to build some of those zones. I could just use boulevard roads because after all, I mean, uh, with enough offices, this will be a real high, uh, high, high use area. But honestly, I, I would prefer it if the back roads here were, uh, were the preferred mode. So I'm going to see what I can do. Hopefully the game will allow me to wrap around the road just like that. Yeah, that's quite nice. Oh, uh, no, unfortunately, clobbered the houses, but that will, uh, I guess, just be something that we'll have to do. Uh, we'll link it back to the main road like that. And now... I guess what we'll do here is something like this. We'll extend some some roads from the back of the place into here. And the idea is that I want to keep traffic off of the main road as much as I can to hopefully make it so that nobody uh, nobody nobody uses them too much unless they absolutely have to. And inside the back area over here, we're going to make office zones. Offices require, uh, well, they're, they're, they're pretty much industry zones, but they require skilled workers, so educated workers, instead of just uh, more so unskilled workers. And we'll paint all of this right around over here. So hopefully this will build in just a few seconds. And afterwards, we get to see a few nice, lovely offices being propped up right over here. So let's see, let's take a look at these. Right, so fairly uh, modern places, some <laughs> some fierce uh, you know rivalry going on over here. We got Happy Face Travel Agency and Happy Face Travel Agency, so great. And what do we have over here? Solutions Incorporated. And my oh my, this zone is developing quite fast. So this is pretty neat. That gave us a, a sliver of well, uh, new office zones. So very very nice. And this area back over here will just gradually develop into something more, something more for people to, well, pretty much just live in. And, oh, oh no, we have uh, quite a lot of congestion back over here. So, you know what? Um, I'm going to try to solve this. So, I figured this would be a nice main uh, avenue for people to just sort of enter and leave the city. But it looks like it is time to connect our city up to the main highway from uh, from over here as well. So let's see what we can do uh, about that. So I'm gonna put this through the street connection. And I think for now, the best plan would be to just simply bring up the, uh, the road connection, um, get it so that we can link the one way with trees uh, from, I wanna say this is entry, this is exit. So the exit will just connect, uh, well, right over here. We're actually, no, you know what? Um, Never mind, actually. This is the uh, the smallest large one-way road I have, so that'll be thorough put out, and the other the, the other one over here will be thorough put in. And here's kind of how I wanted to do this one. So it's going to be a major boulevard either way, but we're going to tear it up like that. So, and I don't know if I've showed you guys this just yet. I probably have. But we can we can just kind of spiral the road in like that. So it's not it's not perfect by any means, but it'll make this large intersection where a lot of the traffic coming through this area should now be able to just kind of divert onto this road and leave. And as you can see, some trucks are already oh, a lot of people are already using it. So this is pretty good. And to improve upon this, what I can do here is that so say so say we wanted more thorough put from over here. And we can do that easily. I can make a one-way access like that so the people inside the back neighborhood here have a easy way to leave. And hopefully what we'll see shortly is fire, like some three fire trucks. Nice. That's also pretty good. But hopefully we'll see some of the some of the congestion over here being relieved by the fact that now Freight has a new way to leave the city. And the coolest thing would be to honestly see like some some river ferries happening, but uh, I don't think that's uh, you know a, a legitimate thing for the game uh, at least at this stage. So this is pretty good. Um, we have a ton of stuff being being built, or a ton of uh, things working right over there. 
taking a look over here. Um, not the truck store, but some of the residential areas right over... Wait, no, it's over here. So we have some higher density residential zones housing a lot of people now. And what I figured we'd do here is that we would just gradually move, say, some of these, some of these housing units right over here from the low density into the high density ones. And later on, if need be, we'd, uh, well, we'd start converting the other side as well. So we're going to make all of this high density for now. And that should gradually switch. And likewise, back over here, I'm going to get rid of all of these houses because I figured having some high density ones over here wouldn't be a bad idea either. And we're just going to paint all of this. I'm trying to be careful to not uh, get rid of any of the other zones, but I think that's the best I can do here. Paint, paint, paint. And there we go. So now some some of these big old tenements will should were yeah they should pop up they can house right around double what these smaller zones can house so that is very very good and that'll just gradually uh, work through itself and how are we doing over here a lot of shortage for uh, for well educated workers so let's solve the education problem uh, so we need one elementary over here um, so let's put one right next door to some place over here. And that should be able to serve both of these community communities adequately well. Uh, but it looks like that is not going to do. So we're going to get another one right over here. Yay, smells. Um, so that'll finish up that area. Now over here near the uh, near the heavy or the yeah the heavy residential zones, we're probably going to need one just solely for the families inside this area. So we're going to pluck down another one right over there. Uh, likewise for high schools, we already have uh, we already have quite a few over here. So in that case, I think I think we're good. But I noticed a lot of houses aren't doing its thing. But uh, it looks like we should be fine there. So now this area will just gradually develop. Uh, we'll probably need a clinic over here as well. And that should finish up this entire region area, please. At least for now. And hey, there we go. So now we can see a nice wave of offices being over here. And, uh, well, all of these offices will need their basic services. So let's get them a, yeah, a fire station for sure. Looks like uh, they're, they're well protected by crime. So in that case, uh, let's see, what else do we need? These buildings just simply need to be, co be covered by more services. So I think, you know what? We'll have a police station right over here. That should settle those two areas. And, uh, well, following, we might get some public transport in there. And then afterwards, these areas might just start to upgrade. And, oh, I see a few upgrade signs already. So this is pretty good. And these will become better offices. Hopefully, they'll store more workers. And uh, overall, they will generate us more and more cash is the main thing. What do we have over here? Master Architects. Uh, so I thought I saw, like, Angry Face Games. Yeah, there we go. Angry Clans Mobile Games. <laughs> so that's kind of nice. Ooh! We got some of these tiny uh, tiny buildings right over here, too. So that that is definitely quite the sight. Very, very nice. So this is pretty good. The city's already moving away and doing its thing. Um, I think I should probably clean up some of these abandoned zones right over here. But for the most part, the town over here is doing very, very well. So it's time to think of a uh, it's it's time to think of a few other solutions to what we have over here. Um, so we have a main road system pretty much down. This is kind of ugly right over here, but I think it's, you know, honestly the best solution to keep it as is, at least for now. And, well, it's probably a nice thing to have a university district. So you know what? I think I'm going to make that right over here nearby the, uh, the, the offices and all. So, uh, what we're going to do here is I will make a plaza like that. And, well, within this plaza, let's make... Oh! reached a small city over here so we can build a hydropower plant a cargo train terminal and a train station too so this is very very interesting um so with that said let's see what we can do here about uh, building up this area and as you can see right on the side of the map there we actually have a train access uh, area so that is very very nice 
Um, let's see what we can do here. I'm going to expand the, the university district into a series of uh, grids like that. And over here, I'm going to have a point to try to make this campus into a very lovely place. I'm going to have a, un uh, a big, uh, well, hospital just for the sake of appearances, really. And as soon as we have enough cash for the actual, uh, well, university, I'm going to pluck that from the looks of right over here. It's kind of surrounded with a nice section of, uh, well, offices and the such right there. So we're going to make this area, yeah, pretty much, uh, pretty much like a like a university campus. And now let's try to build this area up. It's going to need power, so we'll connect that shortly. But for now, let's 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 just do a nice stream of offices along the side here. And of course, we'll need some uh, dormitories and housing areas, and we'll just consider this block of uh, houses to be right like that. Need some shops here too, so let's get some, uh, well, we can do some medium density zones now, medium density commercial zones. So let's put a small strip of that in, and hopefully we'll have enough, uh, well, units of uh, production soon. And shortly we'll have enough for this. Let's see how much does it cost. 75,000. You know what? We can speed this up. I think we'll just take this global credit loan. Grab the cash, pluck down to the university, because, I mean, these these big buildings kind of pay for themselves in the long run. And, hey, that covers the entirety of our city. Almost the entirety of our city in uh, smiley faces. So this is really, really good. Out of all of the eligible students, people are starting to move here. People are starting to, uh, you know go to the university so this is very very good uh hopefully power will be connected to these areas soon enough and some people are starting to move into this high density zone so this is very very nice now going forward let's see what else can we do so uh what i can do for power here is i can build an electric dam and this is one of the the most coolest things inside the game i've got to say now with this dam ah oh, damn if i only had enough um, it actually blocks the water, and in a test game I had, it, from the looks of it, the water has like some minor simulated effects on it, so it's really, really neat to, to see it in action. Uh, but we'll see shortly. Okay, so some more people are attending the university. Very, very good. And, well, with all those improvements, it's going to cost us a, a bit inside the, well, the financial uh, sector, but that should fix itself up in some time. Now, in the meantime, I guess uh, we'll get some more residencies right over here. Some more high-density zones to fund our city. And that is just going to bring in a ton of jobs. So there we go. And you got a nice city district popping out of nowhere. And again, congestion is, for the most part decently uh, controlled for a major city like that. We might have to fire off a parking ban sometime or uh, get some public transportation going sometime soon because I see a lot of cars blocking up the, the roads here. Also see a lot of waves of ambulances, holy cow. Yeah, but very, very smooth flowing traffic, which is rather nice. And just a lot of demand for uh, well-educated people. So this is good. There's a it's competition for talent. It's comp yeah. There's a there's a lot of opportunities here, especially for the people going for those well-educated jobs, which is really fueling up things. Um, evidently, there's there's kind of a short a shortage of like imagination, seeing as our city over here is composed of just one style of building. Repeat it. Holy, yeah. It's just the same building, again and again and again and again. Same over here as well. They have the same little bobblehead thing on the top too. <laughs> but anyhow, this sector should be pretty much done with. So now let's see what else we can do to advance our city. Taking a look at schooling again, all schooling should be at maximum uh, capacity, which is or maximum availability, which is nice. And now switching some more of the city to the the lovely uh, high residential areas. You know what? I think we're uh, I think we're going to have to give up some of this lovely beachfront property now. So with that said, we're going to just unpaint all of that. Or actually, I should do a better job just to make sure I get the individual green squares. Repaint all of that. This 
And that should build up another section of, uh, of our city, or rebuild this section of the city to house much, much more people. And likewise, um, I think I'll continue this down right over here. And this will just be a temporary solution. You know what? We're hitting up the, the 25 mark, so I think I'll end this episode right here. But we will be right back with more Cities Skylines.